Now back to a tragic update to a story out of Ashtabula. The fire department there confirms a three year old girl was killed in a house fire Friday afternoon. News 5's Catherine Ross spoke to neighbors today and explains how they jumped into action and were able to help the rest of the family. Burn debris, charred siding and caution tapes at quiet Saturday. Even without the house serving as a reminder, Elijah Juan Smith says he won't soon forget what happened Friday afternoon. So I was working from home yesterday and on, on my computer I kept hearing, I still hear them, um, the kids and the mother crying. After he called 911, surveillance video shows Smith running outside to check on the house next door on Station Avenue. Like when I came outside, you can hear like the kids screaming. Heavy smoke and fire were showing through the windows. The mother and her two kids, they're on the roof. And there is another resident who came out the front door. And I believe he was trying to get back in because I know she had another kid inside. Smith says the mother threw her two small children to a family friend below and another neighbor grabbed a ladder to help her down. But when the kids came out, they were saying that they had their sister in the house still. According to the incident report, firefighters had to knock down flames on the first floor before they could make their way upstairs. That's where they made a tragic discovery, the body of a three-year-old girl behind a closed bedroom door. This is just really, really sad. I, I, I don't, I'm lost for words, so. The other children and one adult were not seriously injured. The mother was taken to the hospital in unknown condition. Smith says he attended high school with her and can't imagine the pain the family is experiencing. Just praying for everybody. In Ashtabula, Catherine Ross, News 5.